everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all staying safe and you're looking after yourself. I'm bringing you today something completely different. As some of you may know, I do love any sort of water mediums, uh, watercolour, neo colour twos, acrylic paint, anything, anything like that really. And I've come across these. So they're called a Bruce Yacht. I've tried it once for the swatching pages, which I will show you in a minute. So for this pack of 12 and uh, your pack of 5 wax sticks and your little spritz that I paid just under £25 for on Amazon. Uh, I quickly will just show you the swatches that I've done with the colours because as I'll show you in a second you can't see the colours in the actual, um, it's not a bottle and it's not a tin really, it's, um, it's a pl plastic container. I have seen that some people have um, kept a little pin in the top of there just to keep the colour from spilling out but I plan on keeping them in this box upright anyway but as you can see you can only uh, see a tiny bit of the colour on top and obviously the name of the colour so I have gone ahead and swatched them all out I have swatched them out on watercolour paper uh, so we've got a nice variety of colours orange, lemon Yellow, ultramarine, turquoise, purple, dark brown, black, emerald green, brilliant green, scar uh, brilliant red, sorry, scarlet, beef green, and these are some of the testers that I've done. So I use the um, the wax sticks that come with this kit on both pages and done different techniques, which I'm going to show you. Like I said, this was a first trial. I've not tried them in a colouring book. I wanted to do it for the first time. On camera which might be a bad idea but we'll see how it, how it goes so yeah so they do come in a little box like this I do believe is it 10 15 grams of uh, product you get and the reason that I've just stuck a pin in the top just to sprinkle it out you'll see why when we uh, get on to doing it because they're very 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 pigmented um, I've put old newspaper down because this is messy it got all over my hands last time, all over my desk. So I've learnt my lesson this time. So I think, first of all, I've got two different colouring books, which I know that this paper is uh, all right for water medium. So I thought we'd give this one a go. Um, the first technique I'm going to show you. Again, I'm not to add time here to play around with these mops, so sort of testing it together, I'll get the colours out again. And obviously I want to go with blues and greens. So I'm going to go with the emerald green. So that's ultramarine, I do want that one. There's purple, turquoise, I want that one. And the emerald green, where are you? That's leaf green, emerald green. Right, so we'll just go with these three colours for now. And literally all I'm going to do is to sprinkle, and just making sure there's nothing else on the paper, I'm just going to spr sprinkle each of the colours wherever I think. I mean you can take um, the plastic seal off and the lid off but I just imagine that it would just be a complete mess if you did that. So I'll just put in this anywhere random. I'll try and keep to where the um, water is you know where the seahorses are you might not be able to see much but once we've uh, popped on the water that's when the magic happens as they say and you can add more as you're going and the last one I'm going to add is ultramarine I do believe that you can put bleach, um, grey watered down bleach, and that gives a different sort of effect, which I've not tried yet. I'm going to go back again with the turquoise, just add a little bit more of that. I feel like I'm doing cooking. <laughs> right, and this is uh, the water, <coughs> excuse me, this is the water spritzer that came with it. 
I do believe that you can just buy the set of the powders and they're around about 20, 19 to 20. If I wanted to get the wax sticks and the bottle that was recommended. But there is a set of 24 as well that you can buy. Right. So all I'm going to do is keep it quite far back and spritz the page. And as you can see, that's your effect. So you let that dry and then you can go over and colour that as you please. Uh, right, I'm going to move on to the next one. Be very, very careful and place this on the floor. I've made sure that the dogs aren't going to be anywhere near it and stepping over that. And the next effect that I want to show you, which I've not got a paintbrush out ready. So I've got my paintbrush and my water here. I'm just going to dampen the brush. And I think we will work on, I'll do this bit of the sky here. And it's just a clean uh, brush, just with water, just clean water. There's a little bit of the powder there that's uh, from the last picture. It, honestly, it goes everywhere, but it's fun to do. So I'm not going to be too too precise or detailed. I'm not too worried. I'll just get a nice wash of water on there, and the same thing again. But we'll just go with some different colours. So I've got yellow, uh, orange. Uh, leaf green, or oh, lemon, sorry. So we'll go the yellow first. Might have to add a little bit more water. I think I'm gonna have to. See, it's so pigmented, you just barely even touch it with the water and you can see how much it does move around. Let's add a little bit more here. Right, we'll go in with the leaf green. You see that sort of effect? It's it's amazing actually there what it does. I probably should have brought you in closer at the start, but you can you can get the idea of it there. So I'm gonna go in with the there's lemon and there's yellow. They do look quite similar. So I'll do another little patch. Oh that might have been a bit too much water. And I'm going to go in with the ultramarine this time. I'm just trying to tap it on so you can still see as well the effect. What it's actually doing. And we might as well just do this little bit here. I want to make sure the brush is clean this time. And move the page up a bit. So we'll just do this little section, like so. I mean, I imagine that you can go over this with a few layers as long as you let it, you know, dry. I mean, it would be better on watercolour paper, but you don't find many watercolour paper uh, colouring books. So again. This is going to be street with all purple because I can see the powder everywhere. See, there you go. You can actually do painting with this though. See? So what will that look like when I mix these two colours together? Let's see. Let's go in with the turquoise. That one's worked beautifully. See how the colour is spreading out? And I'll just do one last little section here and I'll try and go that black. Actually, I will show you the black because it's not just a flat black. It's um, got a lot of different colours mixed into it. So again. So my black is the... It's got like oranges and blues and browns, all these different colours. 
I'll I'll show you in the uh, on the watercolor paper the, the different effects that you can get. But I think that is just it's amazing and it's super easy to create some really interesting textures on your colouring pages. I mean, I don't know how long that would take for me to do with colour pencils. I don't know if you could achieve that with colour pencils. Um, I'm going to put a little bit more turquoise on that one. So I'm just going to move this out of the way. And squeak it here. Uh, right. So I've just cut out a piece of watercolour paper and I've got some bubble wrap so I don't know which rain, way around I want to do it. I think we're going to sprinkle on first some orange, red, dark brown. So I've grabbed some brilliant, brilliant red and sprinkle that onto the bubble wrap. And then I want a yellow, which is that one. That one looks more like an orange though, but when you swatch it out, I think I might go with the lemon instead. I think I might have to unblock some of these. There we go, that should be better. And yeah. So I'm just going to use my spritzer, move this paper out of the way just in case. And these spritz down the plastic and then gently on the right side of the paper place it down. I'm just going to tap it ever so gently. And lift it up you've got that sort of effect and it's everywhere so let me just try this with a bit of clean a bit of the bottom if i do it this way around and i press it on with that better yeah see see what sort of effect that makes I, mean, I think that would be good for, uh, you know, like scrapbooking. Look at me. I, I told you it's messy, very messy. So let's fold that up so I don't get that everywhere. And the last one I wanted to show you. If I can pick up a piece of paper, I'm trying to be careful because I've literally got red everywhere now. Is the wax sticks. Let's just get one of these out do some different designs you can't actually see this when it's done I mean you can see there's something there but you can't make out what pattern it is I'll just do any sort of patterns just so you can get the the idea and this time I'm just gonna wet it directly With brush and this paper should behave a lot better with it being actual watercolour paper. See what sort of effects that makes. It's so fun to do guys. If you're into card making, you know that sort of thing, I, I imagine that this would be superb. And I'm just going to do that again, purely because it was just full. Well, this time I'm going to just do the powder first and then we'll spritz it. So some ultramarine. Do I need to open this scarlet up again? I do. Some scarlet. And a tiny bit. Where's my black? There it is. I'm just using a pencil to open the end up an old pencil. Black in this corner here. Like I said, I'm going to just spritz it this time. Do 
you see what I mean? It's just super duper fun. And when it's dried out, it does look different. You see that started to dry nice. But if you did something like that with a background, you could then go around it with colour pencils or gel pens, glitter or whatever. It's just something different, a different idea for you guys to try. And I thought it was super fun. I just need to practice a little bit more with them, I think. But if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.